Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to Mastalino Classroom. In this video, ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano i-illustrate ang set operations using Venn Diagram. Let us start first with the definition of a Venn Diagram. What is a Venn Diagram? A Venn Diagram is an illustration that uses circles to show the relationships among sets enclosed by a rectangle that represents the universal set. Here are some examples of the Venn Diagrams. First, we have here a Venn diagram showing the relationship of two sets. We have set A and set B represented by two overlapping circles and these two sets are enclosed by a rectangle which represents our universal set. If we are going to describe the relationship among three sets, here is an example of a Venn diagram. As you can see, we have here three overlapping circles which represent the sets A, B, and C. And again, it is enclosed by a rectangle which represents the universal set. Now, let's have a warm-up. We are going to show using a Venn diagram the following simple set operations. And if you can so recall in your previous lesson, you have discussed already the intersection of two sets, the union of two sets, the complement of a set, and the difference between two sets. Let's try to show these simple set operations using Venn diagram. So first, we have the intersection of two sets. And this is how we illustrate the intersection of two sets using a Venn diagram. Kung maaalala nyo ang ibig sabihin ng intersection, kinukuha lang natin ang common elements between the two sets. At kung titignan natin yung Venn diagram, ang dalawang sets, A and B, represented by two overlapping circles, yung common portion nila, yun lang ang ating isi-shade. That shaded portion represents the intersection of the two sets. Next, the union of two sets. Ito yung Venn diagram na nagre-represent ng union of two sets, A and B. Kung maaalala nyo yung definition ng operation na union, pag sinabi natin union, Iko-combine lang natin yung lahat ng elements na makikita kay set A at saka lahat naman ng elements na makikita kay set B. That is why all the portions which are part of set A and at the same time of set B as well as both of the two sets are shaded. The third one, complement of a set. So first, we have, say for example, set A. This is an illustration of A complement using a Venn diagram. Kung maaalala natin yung definition ng complement of a set, a complement of a particular set contains all the elements not found on that set, yung hindi makikita sa mismong given set. So kung kukunin natin yung complement ng set A, ito yung mga Elements outside of set A. Meaning, kung idodraw natin yan sa Venn diagram, yung area outside of set A, yun yung complement ng set A. On the other hand, eto naman yung Venn diagram na magre-represent ng ating B complement. Pag sinabi natin B complement, isi-shade lang natin yung area outside of set B. And lastly, for the subtraction of two sets, 
we have, say for example, A minus B. So, kung i-illustrate natin yan using Venn diagram, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Kung maaalala natin yung definition ng A minus B, ibig sabihin nito, lahat ng elements ni set B na makikita natin kay set A ay ibabawas natin. At yung natirang elements na lang ni set A, yun yung ating magiging sagot. So, in Venn diagram, kung ito yung ating set A, yung portion na to ng set A na makikita din kay set B ay ibabawas natin kasi nag-subtract tayo. So, yung natira na lang na portion na hindi kasali or hindi natin makikita sa kay set B na makikita lamang kay set A, yan na lang yung matitira. So, yan ang ating A minus B. On the other hand, kapag B minus A naman, ibig sabihin nito lahat ng elements ni set A na makikita kay set B ay ibabawas natin. At yung elements na lang na matitira kay set B, yun yung ating magiging sagot. To show that one using Venn diagram, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So kung mapapansin natin, ito yung ating set B. At yung portion na to, na nasa gitna, nakasama din ng set A, ay ibabawas natin since we are subtracting set A. So, yung portion na lang ni set B na hindi kasama sa set A na natira, ito yung ating shade. So, that is our B minus A. Now, let's practice with these examples of multiple set operations and we are going to use Venn diagram to illustrate these simple set operations. First, we have A complement intersection B. So, shade natin using this Venn diagram to show this set operation. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, kung natatandaan sa ating set operations, kapag wala tayong parenthesis, so, uunahin palagi natin i-perform yung complement ng isang set. So, ibig sabihin, yung gagawin natin muna, i-illustrate natin yung A complement. So, yung A complement natin, eto. So, kung mapapansin natin, lahat ng portion na outside kay set A, yan yung ating shaded portion. So, sunod natin gawin ay, isi-shade natin yung B. So, kung titignan natin, eto yung ating set B. And let us try to shade this one using a yellow color. So, ito yung ating set B. Now, we are going to get the intersection of A complement and set B. So, ibig sabihin, sa illustration na to, titignan lang natin yung portion na may color blue and at the same time, may color yellow. Kasi nga, we are looking at the intersection of A complement at saka ng set B. Ito yung part na may kulay green. Ito yung A complement intersection B. So, yung ating final answer for this set operation is this one. Ito lang yung shade natin. Okay? Let's have the second example. A minus B complement. So, ibig sabihin, yung B complement ay isasubtract natin sa set A. Pag ganito yung ating problem, mas maigi na unahin muna natin i-illustrate yung set A. So, this is the illustration using a Venn diagram of set A. Kung mapapansin natin, yung may shaded portion lamang ay yung set A. Now, yung B complement naman. Kung i-recall natin, pag sinabi nating B complement, ito yung portion outside of set B. So, gagamitan natin, for example, ng yellow color to represent B complement. Ito yung ating B complement. Since isasadrak natin yung B complement sa kay set A, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nakulaya natin ng yellow na color ay ibabawas natin or aalisin natin 
at yung portion na may kulay blue na nagre-represent ng set A, yung natira na lang, yun yung ating magiging sagot. So, ibig sabihin, yung kulay blue sa gitna na to, na hindi natin nakulayan ng yellow, yun na lang ang ating magiging sagot. Ang final answer natin para sa ikalawang tanong ay eto. Eto yung ating A minus B complement. Next problem. For number 3, we have the complement of the quantity A intersection B. So, kapag ganyan ang ating set operations na meron tayong parenthesis, ibig sabihin, uunahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis bago natin kunin yung complement nito. So, in this case, we have A intersection B. So, yung illustration natin using Venn diagram of A intersection B, yung nasa gitna lang or yung common area yung isi-shade natin. Ibig sabihin, if we are going to get the A intersection B complement, isi-shade natin yung nasa labas ng blue color. At eto na ang ating magiging sagot. So, the complement of A intersection B is this one. Okay? For the fourth one, what if we have three sets involved? Like in this case, we have A, intersection B, intersection C. So, ito yung gagawin natin. Una, isi-shade muna natin yung set A. Pangalawa, isi-shade natin yung set B. Pangatlo, isi-shade natin yung set C. Since yung kinukuha natin ay yung A intersection B intersection C, na ang ibig sabihin ay hahanapin natin yung portion na common sa tatlong sets. So, kung titignan natin dito, yung pinakagitna na portion, eto yung nakulayan natin ng yellow, blue, at saka yung red. Ito yung common na area among the three sets A, B, and C. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung A intersection B intersection C. Kaya, ito lang yung isi-shade natin na part. Now, for our last problem, we have the quantity A intersection B minus the set C. Kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong grouping symbol or meron tayong parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, uunahin muna natin i-compute yung A intersection B. So, we have A intersection B. Ito yung isi-shade natin. Yung portion na common kay set A at saka yung kay set B. Now, ibabawas daw natin yung portion na kasali sa set C. So, let us use the yellow color to represent set C. Ito yung set C natin. So, shaded na siya ng yellow color. At sabi dito sa ating problem, isasubtract natin yung set C sa A intersection B. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng nakulaya natin ng yellow, ibabawas natin siya. At yung sagot natin ay yung natirang portion na lang na may kulay blue. So, Ibig sabihin, ito yung magiging sagot natin. And that's all for this video. I hope na may natutunan kayo kung paano i-illustrate yung set operations gamit ang Venn diagram. See you in our next video.